Hey guys, it's Nick from this here. The Mortal Kombat 1 beta was a blast. I was lucky enough to have that weekend off from work, so that's pretty much all I did, grind Mortal Kombat 1. Shout out to MKO Fatal Cade on Twitter for hooking me up with a beta code, since my retailer wasn't offering them. Seriously, thanks again man, you're the GOAT. I got a lot of gameplay and content for the channel from it, and today I wanted to talk about my time with the beta and my first impressions on Mortal Kombat 1 as a whole. Let's begin. The gameplay is very fluid, fast paced, and fun. I already think I'm going to enjoy the way this plays a lot more than Mortal Kombat 11. The combos just feel much better this game, and there's a lot more potential for creativity with the new air combos and character reworks. The air combos feel like this game's version of the run mechanic, and I can't wait to play around more with it. It's definitely a game changer. Overall, it's a much quicker paced game than MK11, and I already know I'm going to be clocking a lot more time in on this one. I really just love how this game feels, and I have to say I've never been more excited for September 19th. Each character is fun to play in their own unique way. I'm loving the character designs and the character reworks this time around. Johnny Cage's design could use some work, but hey, that's what alternate costumes are for. Johnny Cage, Li Mei, and Liu Kang were my favorites to play during the beta, all of them having their own strengths and weaknesses, and all three had great mix-ups and combo possibilities. I can't wait to get my hands on the likes of Havoc and Ashra, with the Cyborg cameos and Motaro cameo, so many awesome characters this time around to look forward to. The cameos really are a nice addition. I was leery about the mechanic when it was first announced, but I think it adds a really nice element to gameplay and even more combo potential. It's nice seeing characters that otherwise probably wouldn't have made the main roster be included again. Characters like Shujinko and Darius are revived thanks to this awesome feature, and I think it's really the closest thing to tag combat we've gotten in a while, so I'll take it. Of course, with any beta, there are glitches. I ran into very few, and most of them were cosmetic glitches that didn't affect gameplay. For example, I had a glitch with Li Mei for her brutality, where the model still had their head even after being decapitated. Uh, I had an outro where Cameo Frost would be invisible in the wind pose, even though you could still see her frozen dagger just floating there and another one where fatal blows could trigger the entire screen to get really dark for the rest of the match, which was pretty jarring. Again, nothing game-breaking, but just little things I noticed that hopefully get patched up for the main game. The graphics are beautiful, and the game runs very nicely and very smoothly on next-gen. I've seen people saying that this game doesn't look much better than Mortal Kombat 11, and could have been on past-gen, and I disagree with that. It's definitely more polished and realistic looking than MK11, and a lot of the designs have even been toned down dramatically. The scenery in this game is gorgeous, and the best it's ever looked. The most important reason for this game being next-gen exclusive is how it runs and loads, not necessarily how it looks. It's by far the quickest, smoothest Mortal Kombat game I've ever played. I mean, I love the seamless transitions from the character select to the actual match. Past gen can't pull that off. The fatalities are by far my favorite out of the NRS era. So gross and so badass. They're really nailing them this game. You'd think after 20 years, NetherRealm Studios would be running out of ideas, but they're still managing to impress me to this day. I also love how they've handled fatal blows in this game. I really enjoyed Mortal Kombat 11's system of you only being able to use Fatal Blow if your health is below 30%, so it's separate from your meter. The main thing I didn't like about Mortal Kombat 11's Fatal Blows is that they looked like bloody Injustice Supers. So I'm very happy to see they've blended Fatal Blows and X-Rays together, and I'm also glad along with probably half the player base that Crushing Blows are not returning for this game. I have to say I'm very impressed even with the bare bones beta, so I can't imagine how unreal this game is going to be when it's in its full glory next month. I'm beyond stoked, I think this definitely has potential to be one of the best Mortal Kombat games ever. I think I've covered most of the highlights from the beta, so yeah, I'm super excited, I love this game already. 
Let me know how you're feeling in the comments below. Thanks for watching guys, as always this has been Nick Famous, see you later.